Hello, it's me Caroline and this week I'm gonna show you how to do this beautiful and easy vegan mac and cheese recipe. I prefer to use a steamer but you can also boil your things. I use a big sweet potato, peeled and cut in tiny pieces so it cooks faster, three garlic cloves, you can use more or less of course, and finally a ton of cashew. I usually use one handful per person. Then just cover and wait for the potatoes to be soft. Once it's ready, you just have to put all those beautiful things in the blender. I have a regular blender and it does the trick. Then you need to add some liquids, I like to add my vegetable water and also some almond milk. If you have cashew milk or soy milk, it does the trick. If you have trouble mixing it, just use a spoon and uh, help it mix a little. You can also add some liquid like milk. Then, once you have a creamy consistency, it's time to add the spice. The thing that gives this recipe the cheesy flavor is the nutritional yeast. You can add a lot of it. Really, a lot. Then I put garlic powder. If you have onion powder, put that too. Curcuma to add the yellow color. And cayenne to add some spiciness. Also, use a lot of salt. Don't be shy. It's really what gives the regular mac and cheese all its flavor. Also, some pepper and blend all of it together. Of course, you can add milk if it's not the right consistency and to help it getting creamier. And don't forget to taste so you can adjust the flavors. So you should get a thick and creamy orange and cheesy sauce. You can also use all sorts of vegetables. I didn't talk about them in this video, but you can use potatoes, carrots, cauliflower. Then you just add all this pretty mixture to any kind of pasta. I really like those little twisted shapes, but you can use macaroni and penne and really anything. There you have it. I like to add a little pepper on the top. You can also use paprika or anything. I hope you enjoy. 